YouTube, Biker Mike here, back working on the old trusty, rusty GMC Sierra. So I had some problems with the engine light coming on. So I grabbed my Blue Driver OBD2 Bluetooth code reader, plugged it into the OBD2 port under the dash, and ran a scan of the codes. Now, if you don't have one of these, uh, you can get them on Amazon. I think they're only like $100 and they're definitely well worth the price. They can uh, scan any OBD2 compliant vehicle. So pretty much everything that's out there now. And it can also do the airbags and anti-lock brake systems and reset those lights as well. So I ran the scan and I got a couple codes well, a bunch of codes that were all related to the oxygen sensor. Now in particular, it was on the bank one and bank two, sensor one and sensor one, which is the two front oxygen sensors that are located before the catalytic converters. So one had no activity, which I thought was pretty odd. So I went underneath my truck to have a look and this is what I found. So here's what I found under my truck. The uh, Bank One Sensor One wire harness had actually come undone and lowered itself down onto the front drive shaft that comes out of the transfer case. And you can see there in the center of the picture the black wire with the coating ground off and it actually exposed that wire there. So with that one being the way it was, I knew I had to replace it. And because I was getting a code for both the upstream oxygen sensors, I figured I'd do them both. So I ordered two. And I'll put a little link down in the description for this uh, OBD2 reader and the oxygen sensors as well. And I had them both replaced. After I had them replaced, I reset the engine light drove home everything was fine went to uh, Wendy's while I was in the drive-thru at Wendy's the engine light popped back on so I got home wolfed down the Grand Slam burger broke out the old Bluetooth OBD2 reader plugged it back in ran another scan this is what came up O2 sensor heater circuit bank one sensor one and the same thing for bank two so bank one is the left side of the truck bank two is the right I got thinking about it and because it was the circuit, I was wondering, well, maybe that wire that touched the drive shaft may have shorted out and popped a fuse. Because what I found out is that these oxygen sensors actually have heaters in them that come on before the exhaust gets hot enough to make them work. So I went up to the power distribution fuse box under the hood. And sure enough, I popped the cover off and looked down on the diagram, and hopefully you can see that. But right there, number four and number three are O2A, O2B, so that's the oxygen sensor. And if you go up here to the little map of where they are, number three and number four, and right here in the distribution center, right there and there are the two oxygen sensor fuses so i pulled out those and sure enough hopefully you can see that the fuse was blown so all i did was actually had a couple sphere fuses popped it back in there reset the engine light and sure enough everything was fine so there you go guys another little quick little how-to video on how to diagnose some oxygen sensor issues you may or may not have but hopefully that helps you out. If you like the video, like the video. And like I said before, those Bluetooth OBD2 readers called the Blue Driver, you can pick one up on Amazon. They do do quite a bit. And they also offer upgrades on the software so you can download and upgrade your app on your smartphone. And I'm pretty sure they work with both Android and iOS. All right, so thanks again, guys, and Biker Mike out.